That's just brilliant, Amit. <laughs> this should be brilliant. interesting. You'd think you could... Ah! That is not how that... Must be different, starting Hogwarts in your fifth year. <sighs> I suppose some introductions are in order. <laughs> this should be interesting. One moment. Watch this. through a dumb box. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get out of here. That wasn't quite the reaction I wanted. Oh well. What did you hope would happen? I suppose I hoped it would lighten the mood. Ravenclaws can be a bit on edge the first day of class. I'm Everett, by the way. You seem downright calm next to some of these characters. And you survived a rather harrowing trip here. I'm glad to be here, ready for classes to start. Good. Glad to hear it. Truly, there's no reason to be nervous. Most professors are firm, but fair. I mean, not all of the tricks I play are as simple as a tossed dung bomb, and I'm still here. Wait, did you say most professors are firm, but fair? Ha! <laughs> I did. But probably best I let you judge for yourself. I do tend to push their limits. I should wander off before someone traces that dung bomb back to me. Nice meeting you. You too, Everett. All right. Deep breath. Why, hello. Would you like to take a look? Can't see too much in the day. Well, except for stars like Sirius, Canopus, Vega, and Arcturus. I'm Amit. Pleasure to have you in Ravenclaw. Never met someone who's been so close to a dragon before. Can't say I recommend it, frankly. It's nice to meet you, Amit. I take it you like astronomy. Oh, yes. So much to be learned from the stars. Also, there's something about the open air and night sky above the tower. It's invigorating. You will adore astronomy. Professor Shaw is incredibly knowledgeable. I hope astronomy is on my schedule. It sounds interesting. I have good news for you. You are most definitely taking astronomy. It is required for all fifth years. You will be enthralled with the tower. Plus, a quality telescope can show you things you never dreamed of. I suppose I'll see you in class then. Yes. Oh, and speaking of class, better get to my first one of the year. Nothing like the smell of fresh parchment, is there? Be seeing you. I want him to be in the perfect place, a place he'll be happy with, but I can't seem to find it. Great golden gobstones! I want him to thrive here. Golden gobstones? <laughs> My own little expression. I bought this Dittany seedling from home and I so want him to feel cozy. Dittany is amazing, isn't it? So much healing power in such a little plant. <laughs> I've a bit of a thing for plants, as you can see. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. I'm Samantha. Nice to meet you, Samantha. Is Dittany used in Wyvern World Potion? It is! Looks like someone's been studying up on their potion making. Actually, Professor Fig told me about Wyvern World Potion. Of course. I heard you were studying with him before term. He's an enigma fig. Teaches about theory. It seems to know a lot about practical magic. Professor Fig does know a great deal about um, different forms of magic. Well, I hope he told you about more than Wigan Weld. You've lots to catch up on, I'm sure. Is it common practice for students to grow their own ingredients? Oh, yes. In fact, our herbology teacher, Professor Garlic, encourages it. And I don't think Professor Sharp, our potions master, cares where you get your ingredients as long as your brews are all perfect. 
An affinity for herbology is more typical of a Hufflepuff than a Ravenclaw, isn't it? Ordinarily, perhaps. But it runs in my family. We've a full plot of these little fellows back home. I suppose you could say herbology is in my roots. It was nice to meet you, Samantha. Good luck with your Disney. Thank you. And good luck to you too on your first day. Hey there, new Ravenclaw. Professor Weasley is looking for you just outside. You had best not keep her waiting. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. This way. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding law. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Why don't you cast Revelio on this bust and see what details the field guide can provide? Lumos. You've been practicing. Tango! Rebellion. Clever, isn't it? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. Revelio.
No time to waste. You've classes to attend. Timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. And here we are, quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive, our King's Cross Station, so to speak. Did you get your bit room from here? That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins and... I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well... I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today, and remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you, and invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. 
Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. I thought Professor Black would get rid of all the muggle wars. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today, before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about exploring ruins? She caught me off guard. I didn't tell her anything else about our travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guides map? Unfold it and have a look. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Here, behind you, there is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <coughs> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of Charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with the passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right, now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the Color change and growth charms. Anyone? Anyone? 
Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing Obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me! Ah. I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree, hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> so why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? Very simply, cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Now, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing the marbles out, you are summoning them toward you. The trick is to point the sphere as far... Splendid! Don't lose your composure. That's it! Very good! Very good! Points to Ravenclaw! But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up! You'll be the Blues, just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing Red. Clear? Yes, sir. Let us see this. There we go. Excellent. Watch this. Splendid! 
ended! Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. <laughs> I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Let us see this. There we go. Good, both of you. Well done. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Good game back there. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. It took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Of course. You can use Akio. A word, if you would. If you're so inclined. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? 
Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? You did well, managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. How's your first day coming along? good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. Wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. something a little larger. Let us begin with a basic cast. dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprised opponent is a weak opponent, as Master Pruitt so artfully helped me demonstrate earlier. Levioso. Good. Now, the basic cast. Well done. Good, but the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. 
Duelist, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel, using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. This should be easy. You're good. How perceptive. <laughs> what are you doing up there? <laughs> Rather good at this, don't you? I know. <laughs> You're not going to make this easy, are you? I wouldn't dream of it. Let me good form. I know. <laughs> lucky. Nothing lucky about it. Tego complicates things. This can't be your first duel. Let's just go on. This should be easy. You're good. How perceptive. <laughs> How's the view? Rather good at this, aren't you? Okay. <laughs> lucky. Nothing lucky about it. Good form. I know. A perfectly executed Nebio, so. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Ravenclaw. Thank you, Professor Heckert. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. All right, that's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. Huh, always thought Levioso was for first years. Not anymore. You drooled Sebastian. He's strong competition. Well done. Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way, didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. I've dueled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Huh. Fair enough. You owe me an honest duel when you aren't. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Unsanctioned? I don't know. School rules are in place for a reason. Yes to keep students in the dark. So many things we're deemed unprepared to know. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance, if you're interested. Till next time. Oh 
nice to see you, my young friend. Ravenia. My little brother sent me letters. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. Ah! There you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit during your brief detour near... What was it you said? Some ruins? I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? Have you and Professor Fig not discussed my training? He continues to be reticent about the details, mentioning only a few spells. Revelio, was it? And Lumos? That's correct, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a Strela. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. Can you tell me more about the potion shop, Professor? J. Pippin's potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. Professor Sharp asks that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. There's an Ollivander's in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. I'd like to go with Natty. Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students. 
And she knows the area. She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Ah, there you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that, the mending charm Repero. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm, it seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Ropero in no time. Why must I first complete tasks to learn Repero? No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience, and these tasks should provide you with just that. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. <laughs> <laughs> 